day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are starting with a tutorial of mine. This is the keep the chain going. We're trying to make this grow and get quite larger, but I had somebody mention out oh, that sometimes this project's laggy. Friends, I'm going to give you a tutorial from a blank design. Let me show you how it goes. Of course, step one is create new 3D design. Let's click up here and let's call it chain link. You can put your initials after it just so you can keep track of it. If you click up here in the search box and type bent, I highly recommend you make it a favorite. And when you bring it out, we are gonna change some numbers. They are pretty simple. We're just gonna make the first one a six. We're gonna keep the three, the diameter is 18 and then the bend angle is 180 and then we want the lead in and lead out to both be 10. This makes it so all of our links are the same size. It takes two of these so we're going to do control D. We need to flip this right here is a sweet flip tool and now to connect these together we're going to press W for work plane we're going to put it right at the edge click the second one do D to drop then I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground. Let's do L for align, connect them, and we wanna go right there just like that. Friends, that's your cool chain link. You can do control G, you could make it a custom color. You could call this done right here if you wanted. They are so much more fun though if you add your name and other cool colors. So let me show you how to do that. Real quickly, we're gonna do control D, I'm going to move this to the other side. I'm going to make it a hole. All right, friends, to make this unbelievably epic, follow these steps. So right here, we are 30 by 50. So we're going to make this guy 40 by 60. There's my 40 press enter. There's my 60 press enter. And then we're also going to make the height 15 and press enter. We can select the two of them, press L for align, make either one the boss, and do center and center. And center. At this point, we want the solid, and I'm going to change the color so you can see this better. I'm going to just go to a preset green. And when we group these two with Control G or the group button, which is right here, these red lines show us it's grouping. Now if we do T, for transparent, you can see inside there, we have got our cool chain link, and we're gonna cut that out. We're gonna set this aside. That is gonna be the mold that makes our awesome design. Now we do need to remember that this is 30 by 50. I'll show you why in a second. First, let's go down to the cool gradients. Now there are some built in. If you click out here and find the present under design starters, there are several right here. I'm gonna play with this one. I've also got a tutorial for you to make your own custom ones. We're gonna take this and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Notice that's 22 and a half degrees per click. Or if I came outside the blue circle, it's one degree. Or if you do this, hold down shift, it goes 45 degrees at a time. Now we've got special measurements to make this. Let's make it 13 so we know that it fits inside the box. And then we're going to take this and we're going to make it 32. And we're going to take this one and we're going to make it 52. Now if you're following along, check that out. If we do L for a line, pick that as the boss and choose middle and middle and middle, you can see it fits entirely around our hole. That was what we were doing a minute ago, was figuring out these measurements. Friends, we're gonna add words to this. Find the basic shapes text, and because of cruising, you can set it right on the side. I'm gonna do HLMT, and then we need to make this a lot smaller. I'm gonna do Shift Shrink, and type four and press Enter in this box. Now I'm going to select those pieces, do L for a line, make the blue one the boss, and I want middle. I'm gonna look at it from this edge so you can see it better, and I want middle. There is my HLMT. Now I do wanna stick it in a certain amount. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna put five, and I'm gonna put the work plane on this edge so you can understand it just a little better, and we're gonna sync it in three clicks. So control down arrow one, two, three. Let's click on those letters and do control D. 
orbit around to the other side, put the work plane on that side and do D to drop and bingo, your letters are on both sides. If we do F to fit view, you can see they are backwards. We can fix that in an instant with the mirror tool. We need to push this in, remember? So we're gonna do control down, one, two, three clicks. Let's click on that and find a fun color. You could go with all these. I'm gonna go with a preset and I'm just gonna do the bright yellow. Move to the other side and of course select it and I'm gonna make it the bright yellow as well. All right, friends, let's look at this from the top and we need to select these in a special order. Start with the first word, hold down shift, click the second word, then finally click the gradient and group them. If they change to one color, make sure you turn on multicolor. At that point, friends, you can bring back your hole and when you select it and you do control G to group or hit the group button, you will all of a sudden have a wicked cool chain link with your initials friends how cool is that a few quick bonus tricks friends you can change the background color to whatever you want to make your project look a little more epic you can also shut off the grid which is a nice technique you can also click right here to return to the tinkercad desktop and you can show the whole world by clicking on the properties. Make sure you've got a name. Of course, update your description. Mine will have the tutorial in a minute, as long as other ways you can find me on YouTube and my webpage. Give it some tags. Of course, if you type HLMT23, I search that tag every day to see cool things and give them reactions. Finally, you can make your design public, and then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here and follow the tutorial and gain some epic skills. Now friends, don't forget the whole point of this is to keep the chain going. Let me show you how to make that happen. We're gonna go back here and tinker our project, and then make sure you have a note for the one that you want. If you have more than one, you can say this is the link. And then finally go to the collaborate button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can back out. Friends, once you have that link, you can simply return to the project. If you do show more, bingo, it will take you to the chain project. Of course, friends, reactions are appreciated. And if you hit show more, right here is where you share your link. It is so simple. Notice it does not collect any emails. Paste the link here, do not add extra words. Notice I'm gonna do control V. If you wanna leave a comment, you can down here. If you paste extra stuff, you will get an error and you'll just have to do those steps again. I'm gonna add a yo and bingo, hit submit. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.